That's me. Hello, everybody. So this is another GCC Science Skills recording. And this one's actually a really, really quick one, hopefully only 10 minutes, so maximum. And what I'm trying to get across is, in the yellow box here, the difference between being asked to describe and being asked to explain in an exam. Because if you ask most GCC students, they will not appreciate the differences. And whether they're asked to describe a graph or explain a graph, they might write the same thing. And that might mean they don't get any marks. So it's very important that we appreciate these terms. Describe and explain are the two most common command terms in GCC science. So out of all the questions you get, you see describe and explain the most. A describe question is a show question. We need to say how things are happening and where you can give evidence, give facts to back that up. An explain question requires you to use the science you've learned to give reasons why things are happening. So a describe is almost saying what is happening and giving data, giving evidence to back it up. And explain is trying to give reasons why that thing is happening. So I'm just going to show you one example of how we can how this can be different. I'm going to show you a graph. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to describe the graph, and the second thing we're going to explain the graph. And you're going to see how these are two completely different questions. So those of you who have very recently done um, the biodiversity human interactions topic, you may recognise this. I think this is in your booklet, and it's a graph that we use to try and teach about bio indicators and lichens as an example of a bioindicator. So lichens can be used as air pollution indicators. The graph below shows the number of lichen species found growing on walls, that's the dark line, and the number growing on trees, that's the dotted line, at increasing distances from a city centre. So if you were asked to describe that graph, all we have to do to state what is happening and give data. So what is happening? Number one, what is happening is that clearly the further you go from the city centre, the more lichens you've got. Overall, the number of lichens on walls and on trees increase the further you are from the city centre. Another thing that is happening is that it doesn't matter where you are with the city centre, there are all oh, sorry. I've gone, up, gone too far ahead of myself then. I forgot when I told you this first statement, I forgot to give data, didn't I? I forgot to give the evidence. Let's go back here. Save how things are happening. I did that by saying more lichens are further away from the city centre. I didn't give the evidence. What a noob. My evidence is that, you know, on walls between zero and 18 kilometres, there's an increase of 37 species. It goes from nine up to 46. I could have quite easily given the data for the trees as well. From zero to 18 kilometres, it goes from zero up to, where's that, 20, about 24. So it increases by 24 species on the trees as well. It's me giving evidence. Another fact I can see is that the number of lichens is always higher on the walls compared to the trees. And again, we could probably get a little average. It's usually about what? That's 10 species higher, that's 13 species higher. Here, actually, it's about 20, 24 species higher. But it's always high. So there's my description. I've said what I can see, and I've given data to back it up. I've stated what I can see, and I've given data to back it up. So same graph, same question, except now it says explain. If you're asked to explain a graph or explain something, you don't need to describe it. You don't need to state these trends. I need to explain why there are trends. So my main reason could be, clearly, you know, lichens are used as air pollution indicators. Clearly, most of the lichens die in the city centre. So the number of lichen species increases further away from the city centre because there's less pollution. 
and clearly the high pollution of the city centre must be killing some lichen species so they can't grow there. I've also attempted an explanation as to why there's less on the trees. And the reason I've gone for is, well, if you're in a city centre, how many trees are there? It's hardly any, isn't there? So the chances are, you know, before we just got more buildings, then we do trees, and therefore more lichen species on those buildings. So explain. Give the reasons why. Use science that you've hopefully learned. So just to summarise. Describe and explain are not the same thing. You cannot treat them as the same. If it says describe and you give an explanation, no marks. If it says explain and you give a description, no marks. If you ask to describe, say how things are happening, what is happening, and give data to back yourself up where you can. If you ask to explain, give reasons why those things are happening. Use science that you've hopefully learned from the set points of your GCSE. Well, thank you very much for everybody. I hope that was somewhat useful, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.